to the fallout from the censure of former NDP MPP Sarah Jama, no longer able to participate in the legislature. Her presence is still being felt. CTV's Mike Walker reports from her constituency in Hamilton Centre. Sarah Jama's constituency office in Hamilton remains closed a day after she was censured in the legislature and kicked out of the NDP caucus. I don't agree with it 100%. I think that uh, the NDP is a pretty progressive party until I guess somebody speaks up and says how they feel. Mixed feelings among constituents after the censure motion deemed Jama's pro-Palestinian social media post that didn't mention the Hamas attack on Israeli civilians as anti-Semitic and discriminatory. Based on what she said, uh, that's her opinion. It doesn't necessarily represent what we in this community feel. Many wonder what this means for their voice at Queen's Park now that Jama is silenced and sits as an independent. We now don't have a voice at Queen's Park, so... Um, like, where does that leave us? Uh, we, if, we've, if we express concerns to her, where do they go? She is representing a certain segment of the population. So if she cannot speak, that's an issue. Jama was absent at Queen's Park today. Her desk inside the house removed from the NDP block. The opposition has condemned the censure, but Merritt Stiles defending the decision to remove Jama from caucus, stating it was about a series of incidents. It's untenable to be put in a position constantly where you're having all these surprises. It just breaks the trust down. Vandalism at Stiles' constituency office this morning. The message, free Palestine, blood on your hands, taped to the window, and red paint smeared across a picture of the NDP leader. You know, we have a bigger issue right now in this province, which is we have a very divided, very divided communities. We have a, a rise in Islamophobia and anti-Semitism. Yesterday, the Hamilton Center MPP spoke out against the censure while expressing support for the Palestinian people. The Ford government has done nothing meaningful to say about these atrocities and has now targeted me to distract from its own scandals. Jama can continue her constituency work and participate in committees. The censure silences Jama in the legislature until she makes a formal apology and retracts her original social media post. It's a double whammy in the sense that she's no longer going to be recognized in the legislature by the speaker, but she's also losing her privileges that um, arise from being a member of the official opposition caucus. It's always better to do uh, an apology. It's always, that is the right thing to do. <laughs> but then she's entitled for her opinion. Stiles insists the decision to remove Jama was not made lightly, but at this point doesn't see a path for Jama to return to the NDP caucus. Mike Walker, CTV News.